Okay, in this video, you're going to learn how to create a blend space of your own to present. In blend space, you can create a lesson. They're called lessons. You can also view classes, galleries, and or your own lessons. I'm going to help you create a new lesson. When I first found out about blend space, it was called Canvases, and it was presented to me through Edmodo. I'm going to create a personal lesson, not linked through Edmodo, just through my, my personal classrooms. You can add an image, video, images, websites, images, educreations, guru, which are really cool mini lessons that have already been pre-established, web pages like Prezi's, Can Academy, educreations, Wikipedia, I mean anything you can do with an iframe embed code or website links. You can browse your own uploaded files. These are files that I've uploaded prior. You can also load them from your Dropbox if you've linked a Dropbox account. Or, as everybody, all the students are going to have, is a Google account with your G Drive. I have not yet added my account to that. Okay, I will get that done soon as most of my stuff is moving to my Google account. And wonderfully, a new feature is Common Core Standards. Each lesson, you can apply standards to the top of it. Let's say I'm going to do a literature for sixth grade. Uh, let's do history. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, speaking and listening, uh, reading, and I click what I want, the standard I was wanting, drop it over there. Click the button there, and now my standard has been added to my presentation. This is a new feature that was not there a while back when I made a lot of my presentations, and I like it. Okay, to start with, you can drag and drop the resources from the sides here. You can add text file, or you can even add a quiz tile. Okay. How to create blend space. Okay. Very simple. You just saw I typed it in. I hit the word done. Is there. Now in the aspect of viewing or presenting the information, it'll show up when the person clicks the play button like it did here, but even that as a title is not very good. So we need to edit it. Let's make it a little, the font a little bit larger so it can be seen. Highlight the font. I can change it from being just a normal font to certain heading, address, formatted, I mean different levels of headings. We'll make it to that heading. Okay, let's say done again. Ah, it's a little bit easier to see. But I personally like it if it's my title slide. I want to jump out at this, the readers. So I'm going to maybe go 72. Wow, that looks really crowded here, doesn't it? Let's take it back to normal and leave it at 72. Maybe I want to bold it. Or more important, bold just the important word. There you go. Now can somebody who's coming into your presentation see right away what your slide is about? Yes. As you notice when you're I was messing around up here, there's also a way of changing the color of the font. You can underline 
ideas and you could italicize as well. There are other functions you can do like maybe put, there we go, highlight it. There are multiple ways you can do just typing information in. But I propose that generally you guys are going to do what's called dropping the resources. So let's learn about that. Let's look up the good old cat videos. Okay, you can preview and I would highly suggest you do preview before you drop information over. Okay, I already watched the cat talks, so I'm just going to click on it. There you go. And now it's put in the presentation. Maybe I want to do something about dogs. But I don't want a video because I just put a video in, so I need to put maybe a website or a search. Google. Maybe I want to put a picture in. I love the dog with the headphones on. And maybe I need a website to help me prove my facts. Or it's where I found a really good website to share with other people. Oh. Okay, hopefully, yep, I'm back to recording. All right, um, as you saw, there was a, I hit the back button. It went back to my title straight page. I just had to find this lesson. Um, we're going to create a how-to title. But let's go back and find something about dogs. Um... We were doing a Google search website. Oh, Animal Planet. But like I was trying to show you, you could preview it. It'll take you there. But what I did here is I linked a website into here. Let's go into Flickr. Look for um, horse. OK. Maybe I want to find something in education. As you can see, it didn't have to retype it in. Um, this is a presentation device. You can preview again and see if that's really what you want to add into your presentation. Or even better, you create an education and you load it into your presentation. So as a way of organizing, introducing your topic, and viewing it. Sacking of the city and the return. In quest to gain entrance into Troy, Odysseus ordered Epius to construct an enormous wooden horse. With the insides hollow, Greek warriors successfully hit a... So that was an edgy creation. So like I was saying... You can view it and add it in, but the best would be for you to create it. Another thing you could do is have a blend space that is a collection of all your work throughout the year. Okay, Guru. This is a really good place for teachers as well because teachers can go check in Guru and see if there's anything already pre-established in your ideas and they add it to the lesson for students and uh, students you can also find more resources again the web page Google Drive Dropbox you can add PowerPoints okay what I did here to get the next row is I clicked add a row.
But let me do this PowerPoint right here. Just drag it over, drop it in. Now the presentation is there. But let me say, oh wait, this one I should have put first or right behind my number two. Easy. Just drag it and drop it. Now my number two moved to the seventh position. So if you really want that to be done, you have to do the drag and drop until you're all back in order. So maybe, okay, I'm going to drag it here. All right, I still want my dog there. But as you see, all I'm doing is dragging and dropping. Maybe I wanted to leave a space between here because I forgot to, I had to add stuff in there. It's easy. Blend space is really simple. I hope you enjoyed this presentation on how to log in, how to create, and how to view blend space. When next time you have to do a presentation, think about blend space as being an option for you. Thank you very much.